it was just the regular weekly shop when Maureen Tripp became the latest victim of this scam plaguing the country. I just finished work, went to my local Tesco's to do shopping. Walked round, got all my bits and pieces. Went to the checkout. Paid. Then went out to the car park. Unloaded my trolley, put the trolley back in the trolley park. As I went back to the car, a chap approached me and asked me for directions. Excuse me, uh, couldn't you show me how to get to Leicester? Um, he wanted to go to <laughs> Leicester. He pronounced it Leicester. Do you mean Leicester? Uh, le yeah, Leicester. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he got out a map and spread it over the back window. Uh, so we were looking and I was showing him the way. I am possibly the worst person to ask for directions. The motorway north. I had to explain to him several times how to get there, and I thought, he's got a map, why doesn't he use the map? Thank you, thank you. Drove out of the car park. As I was driving out of the car park, I, I noticed a black BMW, a couple of cars in front of me, turn left into the staff car park. I was aware that the chap in the back seat leaned forward and looked right at me. It was the man that had asked me for directions. And I thought, they wanted to go to Leicester. What are they doing in the South Car Park? Anyway, didn't think any more of it, went home. Later on that evening, my husband was checking online our bank account. Did you draw £300 out your account today to Tesco's account? No. Why would I? Well, somebody asked. You better check your purse. Gone. My card had gone. But how does this scam work? How was Maureen's card and PIN number taken? While I was talking to the chap, trying to explain directions to him, he looked over my shoulder a couple of times behind me, and um, I thought, what's he looking at? I turned round once and had a look, and I was aware there was a lady. You showed me one spot. Didn't think much of it at the time. But then I thought afterwards, maybe. He distracted me, and she was the one that actually went round to the passenger side and got in the car. Because of the way I was stood, and I couldn't see inside the car, I didn't hear anybody open the door, I didn't hear the door close. The criminals then used the card at the nearest cash machine to withdraw money. I've um, thought quite a lot about it since the episode and I can't understand how they managed to get my PIN number. I was in the queue on my own, there was nobody behind me. There was nobody in the checkout next to me. It has been suggested to me that um, people could have used their mobile phone and taken a quick shot of me. It's not unusual these days for people to be carrying their mobile phones around supermarkets, is it? We're naturally concerned about this emerging crime pattern. We would like to stress this isn't confined to CHEP, so it is actually a nationwide problem. We would ask people to be guarded when using cash cards, at chip and pin devices and cash point machines to make sure nobody's standing close by that could read their number. I was quite shocked. Afterwards, I, I felt a bit silly. They were obviously very clever people that worked it all out very well because I was totally unaware of what was going on, but I will be now. We would ask people, no matter how small or insignificant they think any information they may have is, to contact us. By withdrawing cash and buying items online, the gang managed to fleece Maureen out of £500, but it could have been so much worse.